YouTube. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? Hey, I got a, a viewer request for a video to be made. Uh, my man, uh, Dave Foresight. What's going on, man? He's a driver out here in these streets, and he just recently picked up the uh, Garmin 45 dash camera, and he wants me to do a video review of it, I guess. I don't know. Here to oblige you. Here to oblige you. So let's uh let's jump right into it, all right? Let's let's just get into it. Garmin. 45 dash camera. This is it. This is what it look like. A little small camera. I mean, this bad boy is is small. It's just like it's the size of a GoPro. You know, this is the GoPro. This is the dash camera. GoPro. Dash cam. GoPro. Dash cam. Plain on the front with the Garmin logo. On the side, you have four buttons on the side right here. Top button is the power on button right here. Power on and the and to go back the two buttons in the middle is to scroll up and scroll down bottom button is the you can is hold to save let me show it to you right here all right so let's get it in focus you push it and it will save the video all right it'll focus back in now when you just push it it'll save a picture so hold it in to save the video push it to save the picture let's go around the camera right quick get it focused back in the top part right here is the is the status you know let you know that you got uh that you got good status the middle one right there shows that you got film or something saved this one right here in the middle is the time lapse and this one right here at the end is the battery shows you how much battery you got left you ask me you know to give you an idea on on how this thing works first you ask me about the memory card i got uh a 32 right here you can't see it because it's fuzzy i would recommend a 64. in order to get to the settings you just push one of, you just push the toggle button either up or down you know you just push this button and that'll that'll bring you the gallery time lapse settings all right so what you want to do you want to go into the settings and it'll bring up uh it'll bring up the camera driver assistance and systems so you can go down to each one and click on each one you hit this button right here for the enter right here this button so for the camera it brings up another options the resolution which should already be set at 1080p 30 frames the event detection is a car moves or or when you hit something it, it'll make it as an event record audio you want to keep that checked so it can record all the audio you want the data overlay to show the time the the location and the uh and the speed record after power loss you definitely want that so in case you you lose power, it will record like maybe about 10, 15 seconds after that. Format card at the bottom. So when you put in the new card, you put in the new card, you can just hit that to format it. Let's go into driver assistance. A camera placement, where you gonna center the camera at. So you're gonna center it on the right of the window, middle of the window, or the left side of the window. In the system, you can hit you can set your volume, you can set your brightness, you can set the color mode, display timeout. Now the display timeout means that this display right here, you can set it to when it comes, I mean when it goes out. I usually keep it on. Set up, you can set it up for miles or killer miles, you can set your time, your language. The other one is time lapse self-explanatory time-lapse feature records to a separate folder so you actually have four folders on this thing you have one unsaved folder that has all your videos which is only one minute clips of of the video at first i didn't like it i started to like it because i'm able to go through the clips fast the other folder is uh is a folder where it holds your 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 pictures uh the other folder holds your save so every time you hit the button to save it's saving that folder and the other folder is for the time lapse that's where all your time lapse video is at five minutes at a time for your time lapse 
three minutes for your saved videos and one minute for your unsaved videos. Here's your gallery. From here, you can actually Wi-Fi your phone by downloading, do I got it? Ah, there it is. You wanna go to the Play Store, right? And then on the Play Store, you want Garmin Dash Cam app. I'm gonna go to Garmin Connect which is this right here. Nope, not Garmin Vibe. You mean Connect, and that's that's the that's the app for the dash cam. That is the right one, right? Yeah, that, that's the right one. So you wanna download that to your phone, and you able, through Wi-Fi on here, you able to save your, your, your pictures and or videos to your phone, so you'll be able to send it off to your loved one. Now, as far as the camera goes, it's, once you plug it up and once you turn it on, it's automatically re recording. So there's nothing else that you have to do. It's pretty much plug and play. And the top button right here is the power button. So if you hold on to it, it'll say, it'll say turn off in five seconds, or you can just hit the bottom button and it'll go right off. How to turn it back on, you just have to, had to push and hold, just like that. Oh, wait a minute. Let's try that again. Push and hold. Okay. Maybe this battery's dead. I don't understand why this. All right, this bad boy got battery, so let's try it again. All right, there you go. Push and hold, and the Garmin will come up, and there you have it. Right back in it. It's recording. You can tell that it's recording because of this little light right there at the bottom too. So the light right there is, is to let you know that it's recording. That's, that's pretty much it, uh, Dave. Um, that's pretty much it about the Garmin dash cam. Um, lengthy video, so I'm definitely going to have to chop this down for you. Is it 15 minutes? You don't want 15 minutes. I'm just going to go ahead and break it down in the cliff notes after I edit it. But I hope this uh, little video um, helps you out, man. If you have any other questions, definitely hit me up in Messenger. Thanks for asking. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a subscriber, dude. I really do appreciate it. So if anybody, if any of you guys got any questions or anything like that, you know, or you guys want me to do a video about something or something, hit me up. Let me know. And um, and I'll try and get one done for you, all right? You know, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for you. For you. Yes, you. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Guys, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, just like Dave like it, hit the like button. And definitely hit the bell so that you'll know when new videos come up. Um, and like I said before, if you guys have any questions for me or you want me to do anything for you, let me know in the comments below. All right, lock out me in. That is me. I am out. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a blessed one and be safe out there. Peace.